Hey guys, it's Malcano86 here. Just want to do kind of a quick video here at uh, Chronicles of Lyria. Uh, sit there, been turning around, and I've been uh, <laughs> I've been following the game for a few years now. I actually turned around and got myself a, a mayor ship and everything like that. And through all the drama and all that other stuff, we sit there, turn around, and been looking at everything. And yeah, Jeremy has done some interesting things, shall we say. Uh, I'm actually sitting there finally looking at the road ahead here. And I did watch that uh, Inside Chronicles of Lyria, what is it, episode two or three? I think it is three now. And when he sat there and he said the um, uh, Kingdom was of Lyria, it made me scratch my head. And we have the uh, we have the roadmap here for uh, Kingdoms of Lyria. So, uh, yeah, um, we'll take a look at this thing here. You know, talking about the, the deals and the, or the, you know, ahead of the plans for uh, Kingdom of Lyria and everything like that. Um, is this, is this a singular development? Come on, what the hell is this crap? This is just this is ridiculous. Anyway, um, yeah, they prefer, they prioritize development of this domain stuff. You know, wouldn't it be easier to I don't know do the adventure stuff? You know, the adventure stuff where they actually can you know, have a mob in front of you attacking like that instead of now we're getting domain and selection. I mean, don't go wrong, I'm a mayor. I I I want my domain selection or like that, but. This is just this is this is hilarious, uh yeah. You know, turning around. Oh, it's a, it's a separate thing, but it's still a developing thing. They're working in unity. Uh that's that's the thing that's kind of getting me kind of make me laugh a little bit. They're working in unity. Anyway, with that said, I'm gonna can uh, read the stuff. Uh, the set of mechanics of COD are significantly vast enough that we decided to take the work we're doing to develop these mechanics for COE and provide them to the world as their own product. That's ridiculous. Come on now. That's, that's just that's just utter ridiculous. Uh, you don't need to make it a standalone product. You should make the RPG stuff, the stuff that you're talking about, the adventure stuff that you, you know, that everyone like that should be the standalone product. This is just a standard RTS. I hate to say it. It's a standard RTS thing that, oh, we're going to add a few mechanics. No, you're going to just do the standard stuff. It's, oh, it, it's a cross between, like, basically... You know, when he's sitting around, oh, they won't even follow your uh, your commands and that. I was thinking of a game here, and I said I can bring it up here. You know, I can almost bring it up here right here right now. And that is, um, uh, let me sit there and bring it up here. I believe the game was called Majesty. Um, or like that. And, you know, the, the game, was, it was a good game. Good, I really enjoyed it. Uh, I actually played Majesty 2 and everything like that. Anyway, let me bring it up here. Uh up as well da, 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 da. let me just add a couple things here uh, uh, da, 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 da. yeah just give me a sec here um yeah it didn't work out too well All right, that didn't work out whatsoever. Let me remove that then. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, let me uh, change that then. Uh, anyway, yeah, it didn't work. Anyway, a game called uh, a game called Majesty uh, literally turned around, and it is uh, it's about literally where they sit there and they mess around, and you you have you have basic contracts, and you tell the guys, hey, what you do this, and that's what they do. That's you know, they don't. You can't directly control them uh, and everything like that. And it's like, okay, that's great. So that's all what he's, what he's doing here. Um, as Kingdom of Lyria has, uh, has almost uh, from the beginning been a crucial part of COE development, uh, it was. But the problem was it was always kind of the Dance of Dynasty type thing. This kind of the forums. Post, that's the whole thing. It was kind of, So this whole, it was always part of it. Mm, not really. It was part of Alpha 2. Uh, I don't like that. Uh, you could get into Alpha 1 and like that, but it was mostly for Alpha 2. Uh, so this is shady. Um, any feedback in the community will improve. And yeah, that's their standard. That's PR speak. Anyway, uh, adventuring mechanics developers will be incorporated. Into, again, they're working in the Unreal 4 engine. Like That's actually what un, uh, COE is supposed to be done. You can make an RPG very easily. In Unreal 4 Engine, they have stuff built in for it. So this whole thing about the adventuring mechanics and like that, it yeah, this is just this is just 
this is just all BS. He's making an RTS is what he's doing. Uh, and of course, with that said, Kingdom of Lyria will be divided up into four releases, initial release, uh, with three community, uh, community of updates, which focusing on the growing aspects of the gameplay. This is your standard typical, hey, this is now we're going to put everything back in early access. Uh, he's planning for the release of late this year. Late this year. You know, I, I thought you told me, Jeremy, that um, uh, they, uh, the game was pretty good. It was ready to go. It was, uh, you know, it really hadn't been that problem. There was no, we didn't shut down the game. But yet you have this thing and you're releasing so late in the year. What? What are you doing here? This is, this is ridiculous. So how far out is Chronicles of Lyria now? It's, if, if Kingdom of Lyria here is going late this year... How late is COE? How many years was it going to take for us to actually sit there and do it? Anyway, so we're going to sit there, and of course, the cinnamon, as mentioned, episode three, da 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 da. da, da this is the, managing citizens. This is your standard tip, typical uh, RP, RTS stuff: constructing building and structures. Come on, if you haven't played an RTS or you're doing this, I don't know what you're playing to be honest. Uh, balancing the economy. Again, this is all very a uh, very base stuff that is in almost everything out there. Hunting and gathering, um, yeah, this is again very typical stuff. There's nothing new here. Developing ag agriculture, this is farming. Come on, this is this is literally farming. Um, yeah, watering carps, care for breeding animals. Yeah, this is all just farming crap. This is literally stuff they've been doing since uh, stronghold. Uh, let's see here. Gathering, uh, gathering information, particularly knowledge about the different citizens of your settlement. This is the Sim stuff. This is all just, hey, hey guys, this is all the Sims, uh, everything like that. So yeah, uh, simplified uh, settlement expansion. Again, choose your way of, of doing it. Either uh, watchtowers, walls, uh, outposts, out, whatever it be. That's how I guarantee that's what it's going to be. Okay, now on completion of COE settlements, we expect to have fully playable, enjoy an yeah, extremely deep colony sim. Mm, I highly doubt that. You'd have to really impress me, but all right. Um, Kingdom Domains. COE Kingdom Domains. For 2022. You know, just waiting, you know, waiting, everything like that. Um, okay, so we're going to be revising information. Yeah, I'm not even going to read this whole paragraph. It's just, it's it's all mostly just him, his, his, his wish his wishes for the game. I don't care about wishes. I care about what you're going to put in the game. I want to play the game. I want to see what you're going to put in. Uh, revise and improve information gathering, including uh, spying other settlements. All right. That's not not truly basic, but not that hard either. Uh, revise and improve settlement expansion pack, including recurring non claimable campers from other settlements. That's your typical immigrant system, pretty much. Oh, hey, people will come in. You'll you'll have a map and do it. Yeah, it, it, it's not too bad. Uh, diplomacy. If you don't have a if you don't have a kingdom simulation, you're yeah. Come on now. Conflict. Come on. This is just this is war. This is this is your again stereotypical RTS stuff and everything like that. Managing, improving your domains. That's again standard affair. Maintaining effective governments, that's you being, you know, being stupid. Laws, of course, it, yeah, that's that stuff that's also in other games like uh, uh, Crusader Kings 2 and stuff like that. Nothing really special, nothing, not really, nothing groundbreaking that's, yeah. Anyway, crime and punishment, again, all right. Uh, advancements, come on, it literally says including technology and research here. Have you played any game whatsoever in the past 30 years that doesn't have any type of uh, advancements in this genre? Come on. Random world events. Yeah, that would have to happen. It doesn't make it less boring. Uh, now we have the COE online, or uh, KOE online. All right, this is where I'm assuming the server will come in. You're dealing with other people. Like that, it'll be pretty good. Anyway, so... Nothing really, nothing really special in this stuff. There's, um, you know, basically they're talking about internal milestones here, right, you know, right around here, 
everything like that. It's like, okay, that's nice. That doesn't affect me whatsoever. It doesn't affect you either. You know, that I don't really care what your internal milestones are. You know, you, you've kind of broken that trust a little bit, so I don't really care what you're saying. I just want to see the product. I want to see – I will not believe anything they, they pretty much they bring to me until it's sitting on my hard drive. That's it. Anyway, with that said, uh, the first opportunity to alpha test the game with content uh, one and two. That's great. And then we get this nice, good, uh, you know, stuff like that, which is okay, good. And we have milestones, fogs of war, pretty much all this stuff, very, very basic. Very, 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 very basic. Um, yeah. The milestone one, environment, terrain, temperature, fog. Of war. Again, this is all very, very, very typical stuff. Milestone 2, something like that. Yeah, again, everything here I'm seeing is very, very, very basic. There is nothing here that I'm seeing that is really... That can't be dinged down in six months. I mean, really, literally, this is, you know, ag uh, uh, you there, um, you know uh, uh, agriculture and stuff like that. This is all easy stuff. Um, you know, the, the engines that they're using is built for this, built for many, many games. Uh, it's not, they're making their own engine. It's literally off the shelf. So, yeah, I mean, this is, again, there's nothing here. Like, okay, Milestone 8, Dynamics, yeah. So, basically, everything he's saying here, everything on this roadmap is, it's not even a roadmap, really. He only gives us a release of two things. The very basic of King of Kingdoms of Valyria and the secondary thing. We know nothing else. So, all this stuff here is just kind of just saying what he wants to do. It's not saying what he's actually going to do. I mean, yeah, this is nice, but this is just this is all wish for Milan, guys. I, I just, you know, like I said, I, I want this game to succeed. I really do. I want this thing to succeed. I want this thing to become great. But I admit, I, I the trust in the community has been shattered. And, yeah, I just hope that uh, we turn around and we can, you know, enjoy a game here later on. And uh, I don't know. Anyway, guys, uh, sit there. I'm going to get out of here. Uh, thank you guys very much. And like that, uh, hey, if you like what you see, you can always like and subscribe to the video. Uh, it would be awesome and like that. And, uh, yeah, so I will see you guys uh, next time, and I hope to, uh, yeah, hope to see you soon.